Now before we get into the video, a big update for you guys. We have opened an FC Barcelona fan group. There, you can talk to all the Qlus from all around the world and participate in match day discussions. You can get football news as well in real time. Just click on the link in the video description, accept the invite, download and then register. You will be automatically added to the group. It will take only 5 minutes and it's absolutely free. So hurry up. Link is given in the video description. Now let's get into the video. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Barca admirers for your daily coverage of all the latest news updates and transfers roundup regarding FC Barcelona. In this episode we have some really alarming news regarding one of our major board members. While Dani Alves makes history in the Barca shirt as two youngsters are soon going to play for Barcelona which has been confirmed by the club along with many more set updates. So make sure to watch this video till the very end without skipping over any part. Now before we get started, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share it with your blog and your friends and click on the bell icon and press all to turn on all the notifications. We start off today's episode with some great news for Barcelona, at least on the financial side. Catalan news outlet RAC1 reports that Barcelona and Spotify will finalize an agreement for 280 million euros in three seasons. This includes the sponsoring of the shirts of the men's and the women's teams, the training shirt, as well as the naming rights of the company from the next season. The forecast is that it will be signed tomorrow. Reporting on the same issue, top-tier Spanish journalist Fernando Polo stated that the Barca Spotify deal will be announced shortly. Spotify will pay Barca 93 million euros per season, which includes the sponsorship of men's and women's shirts, excluding the sleeve sponsorship, the training kit and the title rights of the company from the next season. Now, Fernando also added in his report a rather interesting fact. He stated that Darren Dean, the agent of Shech Fabregas, manager of Thierry Henry, son of former Arsenal vice president David Tyne, had intervened in the Spotify negotiations with Barcelona. Now, despite Spotify's deal with Barcelona being practically closed and apparently it's a very good news for all of us, there has also been a major split inside the club because of this. Ferran Reverter has now resigned from his position as the CEO of the club. In an official statement issued by the club earlier today, it was stated that Ferran Reverter has informed FC Barcelona president Juan Laporta today of his wish to resign from his position as a chief executive officer for personal and family reasons. However, these were not exactly true. The statement further said that the resignation will come into effect as soon as the club has appointed a new CEO. Now, there have been reports coming in from all over Spain claiming that this resignation was simply not because of personal and family reasons. Instead, La Vanguardia claims that Reverta disagrees with the agreement with Spotify that will be made official shortly. On the other hand, journalist Elwood White claims that the departure of Ferran Reverta from Barcelona is not caused by the agreement with Spotify. His professional relationship with Juan Laporta was not the best for quite some months. Now, in contrary to all of this, however, Spanish news publication Sport has come up with an exclusive report stating that Ferran Reverter did actually leave because of a fallout over the current Spotify deal. In their exclusive report, Sport stated that Ferran did not approve the agreement with Spotify. He considers it a strategic error to sell the rights to two assets as powerful as the jersey and the name of the stadium in the same pack as it is a big loss of money. Reverter, in my opinion, quite rightfully considered that the money that Barca must enter for the sponsorship of the Ashby Barca should be higher once the works are completed and the new facilities are fully operational. In addition to this, the exclusive report also states that the CEO's resignation was already on Juan Laporta's table last week, although only the people in the president's most trusted circle were on the case as it felt ignored during the negotiations with Spotify. Now while it is needless to say that this is a major setback in the rebuild of the club and of course this has led to a major split inside the board, eSports 3 reports that in addition to Ferran Reverter, there may be more departures from the board in the upcoming days. Now moving on to the next news update and I'm very sorry that this news had to be relegated into the second position today because of the circumstances. Let's have a look at the way Barcelona defeated Atletico Madrid in the last La Liga game. Spanish news publication Mundo Deportivo praised Barcelona and their win over Atletico Madrid by writing in the headline that the best Barcelona of the season, intense and effective, beat Atletico Madrid and displaced them from the Champions League zone. Adama Traore shined the most among the new signings and the team coped well to the number inferiority after Dani Alves saw a red card. 
Now, speaking about Dani Alves, it's being reported that with his goal against Atletico Madrid, Dani Alves, at 38 years and 276 days, became Barcelona's oldest goal scorer in an official competition. Looked very much into the game as always, Dani Alves seemed to have no limit against Atletico Madrid. The Brazilian played as an inverted right back and provided an assist as well as scoring a goal. Now, Mundo Deportivo also praised Frankie Di Jong in their report, which is quite surprising considering that he always gets criticized unnecessarily by the Catalan media. Anyways, they stated that Frankie stepped up in yesterday's win over Atletico Madrid. The midfielder offered fantastic support to all his teammates at all times and also contributed to break lines. In a big match and against an important rival, Di Jong did not hide. On the other hand, yet another Spanish news outlet Sport states that Jordi Alba's goal from inside the area was providential and aesthetically perfect. A great goal that gave wings to a team that went on to score another three. Meanwhile, the legendary Luis Suarez apologized to his former fans for scoring. The Uruguayan has a place in the heart of every Barca fan and was loudly applauded when his name was read out ahead of the game. Although, Aubameyang came on in a difficult moment in the game and sacrificed himself to help his teammates. The circumstances for his debut were not quite ideal with Alves sent off, but he did well. On the other hand, Diario Ayesh reports that Ushman Dembele was spared a real hard time by not playing against Atletico Madrid because if he would have, the whistles would have probably been enormous. It was already the case when the stadium announcer read out his name. Surprisingly, even Madrid-based news outlet Marsa stated in their report that Mario Hermoso was unable to stop Adama Traore. He suffered tremendously and had no answer to the winger's incredible explosive power. Now, speaking about Adama Traore, we have an interesting report by Mundo Deportivo that states that the player rejected a multi-million offer from Tottenham to join Barcelona on loan with very limited salary with the full confidence of succeeding. Now if that's not enough, journalist Miguel Blasquez reports that in addition to lowering his salary to play for Barcelona, Traore will also donate part of his salary to an anti-racism project. On the other hand, Mundo Deportivo further wrote that Fati travelled back to Madrid right after the game. The player is recovering from his injury over there with his own trusted medical team. Now, as far as all the contract renewals of the youngsters are concerned, Mundo Deportivo further reports that Barcelona have scheduled an appointment with Gavi's agent with the intention to finalize his contract. Meanwhile, we have some good news by Diario Aish that stated in one of their reports that Memphis Depay is close to returning. He should be ready for the game against Napoli. Now, there's yet another player whose contract has not yet been renewed and Mundo Deportivo reports that Ronald Araujo's renewal is in its final stages now. All the parties are optimistic and the player's desire to stay at the camp now has been decisive. Now, on the other side of the coin is Ricky Puig. According to a report by Spanish news outlet Sport, Puig cannot continue like this. A decision on his future will be made in the summer. Ricky's spot has been taken over in the field. Sport reports that Gavi has started in every game since Xavi took over except for the games he missed due to COVID-19 and suspension. It is very clear. Gavi is fundamental for the coach and Ricky Puig is not. The IOIS reports that Araujo and Gavi have both promised Xavi that of course they will renew and there is nothing to worry about. Now, while these players are busy renewing, Sport reports that Mingueza, Umtiti and Longley are expected to depart Barcelona in the summer. As a replacement, Sport reports that Barcelona plan to sign three or four defenders next summer with two of them being centre-backs. Barca want to sign Christensen on a free deal and make a strong investment in Koundé. Now moving on to the next one, we have a useless piece of news update, but I will say it anyway. Goal.com reports that Eric Garcia, Clement Longley and Sergi Roberto have all gone to the Ciudad Esportiva today, despite having a day off. Eric wants to be ready for the game against Espanyol, which I quite admire. Now why exactly did I call it useless? Because of course, Sergi Roberto and Clement Longley are a part of this piece of news. Now going to the next one, Mundo Deportivo reports that Barca scouted Enric of Palmeiras closely, but for now, they have no intention of signing him. Now speaking about centre-backs, we have a report by top-tier journalist Juan Quimpera. It states that Barca see Brazilian gem Kaiki as a new Marquinhos. Kaiki, who is 1.84 meters tall, is a very technical defender with a lot of personality and at 18, he already has experience in the Copa Libertadores. He is a defender tailor-made for Barcelona style of football. 
There is yet another youngster that Barcelona are targeting from Santos. Ancelo, who is a left-footed winger, is a pure talent. At 17, he is already an undisputed starter for Santos. The club have given him the legendary 11 shirt of Santos, the same one that Neymar wore back in the days, displaying the unlimited confidence that they have in him. Barca, in its agreement with Santos, have closed the purchase option with a fixed price on both Ancelo and Kaiki, the two gems of Brazilian football right now. The president of Santos FC, Andres Rueda, confirmed in his interview that Barcelona have secured a buy option for Ancelo and Kaiki, the value of which is fixed. They're talking about two jewels that arouse great attraction throughout the European market and it is great news for Barcelona. Regarding Kaiki, Rueda said that he is a spectacular centre-back. He insists that one cannot imagine that he is only 18 years old by watching him play. He has played the Copa Libertadores and he has a very strong degree of maturity and a very stable behaviour. They hardly see a bad match from him. As for Ancelo, the president said that he's a special player. He debuted at the age of 15 and holds the record for being the youngest player to score in the Libertadores. He is a prodigy. Now moving on to the next one, we have an interesting fact reported by Sport. They stated in their reports that today marks six months since one of the most painful moments in the history of Barcelona, Messi's farewell in tears. As for the next one, Sport reports once again that if there is no immediate reaction, the Barca B manager Sergi Bershuan could be sacked because of disappointing results. That's all the news we could collect for you today. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon, select all and enable all the YouTube app notifications. We have always been overly impressed by your response to our videos. So in this episode, we have decided to set a target of 550 likes. Please Kulers, help us reach our target on this episode as well. Now that's all we have for today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Vishkal Barca, Vishkal Catalonia.